smoke in the... Oh, hang on again. Morning, welcome to Salt Fix. It's Friday morning, it's my day off again. You, I'm pretty happy about that. Friday, gotta love that long weekend. Anyway, the weather is supposedly really nice. I don't know, I won't know until I get my head out the, around the corner here, but forecast is supposed to be pretty nice. So I'll hopefully go out, catch a few snapper before the end of the demersal closures and um, have a nice day on the water. So stay tuned, see how it goes. Bigger gear this time. Yeah, not so smart now, are you? Mm. All right. I've got him on the 50 this time. I'm not sure if it's the same fish. Feels like a standard even chance against him this time. Oh. Maybe I should talk so. Actually, the first fish I've caught on this 50 pound outfit. I haven't caught it yet either, by the way. Oh, it's a snapper. Last things were, but I don't think they were snapper really. Oh, snapper don't tend to play dirty and smoke in the. Oh, hang on again. Oh, what is this? Wow. What's those erect? That's weird. Oh, this is something weird as well. Oh well, at least I'm getting hookups. What is this? There's weird tail thumps before. Oh, he's slugging it out down deep. What is this? Tail thumps kind of felt like a tuna, like those real erratic tail thumps, and always circling down deep. Maybe it is a tuna. I think it is. Wow, wow. that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little tuna. Oh, what a wicked looking fish! Oh, he's not done yet.
hook. Righto, so fish number one was this snapper here. I'm actually keeping this guy. Um, it's only two more days till the demersal closure. So this guy's gonna be dinner. He's not too big. He's perfect eating size actually. So I'm keeping this guy, put him back on ice, take him home. And then this guy here, how cool is he? Tuna. I don't know what kind of tuna he is. Oh, and he's going back in. Wicked, I didn't want to keep him anyway. What a sick fish. Ew! Chuffed. All right, let's get a line back in. So there you go, guys. All you have to do is barely. It's uh, that's as simple as it is. The amount of people that call me up and message me, dude, where's your spots? Where's your spots? I've never been to this spot before. I fished over there. I fished over there. This was just the, pretty much the back edge of the reef. I anchor up on the back edge and I barely just keep on barreling. Either they're going to come or they're not going to come. It's pretty much that. It's that simple. Um, it's not about the spot, it's just about the time. Just keep getting out here, keep getting out here, keep barreling up, back yourself in. Sometimes it'll happen, other times it won't. This morning is happening. I'm still a bit dirty about being dusted two, twice in a row, but anyway, that's fishing. I've got something on board I'm eating tonight, so happy day to see if I can get something else. Oh, just changing the batteries in the GoPro, and I'm in again. This one feels more snap a lot. What's I don't know. I keep saying it feels like a snapper. How do I know? Snapper kind of feel controllable, that's how I know. They run and they take line, but they feel controllable. You can actually turn their head, you can bring it back towards you. But they don't feel like they're just gonna smoke you. Um, those first two fish are hooked. They just felt like they were steaming and you weren't really even slowing them down, let alone turn them around. Um, also the big head shakes, pinkies tend to stop in the water and boom, 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 and they shake their heads and you can really feel that through the right like right there, those big shakes. That's how I can tell it's a pinky normally. But mostly pinkies are just controllable. Um, they're more than doable on 20 pound gear. I've knocked them over on 15 pound gear plenty of times. Um, Samson fish, kingies, other stuff. 20 pounds a little bit light on for those sort of things. Actually more than a little bit light on, very light on. As you saw earlier on, There he is, there's only a small one. Again, he's perfect eating size, this one. It's his lucky day, I'm gonna put him back because I've already got one. But fish like this, they're perfect eating size. These guys taste really good. But you can already see the juice leaking out of him here. He's in here spawning. Look at that, he's spawning all over my boat. I'm gonna get him back in as quick as I can. So he can carry on breeding and uh, be the next Be the next generation of big fish I'll catch next year or the year after, hopefully. Righto. So I'm going to stick the drone up, have a bit of a look, see what I can see. Hopefully this goes well. Sometimes it does. Yeah, another small. 
small pinky. He's going straight back to this one. It's sort of drizzling lightly here. The wind is sort of northerly. Again, not my ideal situation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn in close to the coast and I'm going to cook up some breakfast and um, probably head in for the day. Once the closures kick off, we're going to start targeting kingfish. We're going to get pretty serious about the kingfish in close. So um, yeah, hopefully that works out for us. Anyway, I'm going to burn in a bit closer and maybe have cook up some breakfast. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for me today. I've just come in here, tucked in close to the beach cooking myself up some pancakes for breakfast awesome look how nice this is in here honestly deserted beach crystal clear water caught some fish this morning what a life we live honestly um australia is such a lucky country such a lucky place to be we should be thankful for it anyway guys what i might do is i might stick the drone up and do a bit of a quick flight along the coast here because it's just spectacular i'm going to eat my breakfast you pancakes and then i'm going to head in for the day and hopefully i'll get out on sunday and um, give it another crack and hopefully i've got some more fish for you on sunday if you like my stuff don't forget subscribe and stay tuned you